Welcome. This is the uh, squad ops portion of the stack up charity stream for this uh, Saturday, this Veterans Day. I hope everyone's having a great afternoon. Had some great streams from uh, some of the previous squad partners. Uh, Johnny Oma, thank you so much for tossing it over to us. My name is Karma Cut. Once again, I'm here with uh, Muff, one of our senior admins, as well as one of our major content creation uh, team members, Penn. He's going to be behind the scenes. Here at Squad Ops, we run a multi-cam stream perspective. So throughout the stream, you'll see multiple perspectives. Uh, just a little background on what Squad Ops is. Squad Ops is a hardcore one life scenario based event. We host events multiple times throughout the week. And if you'd like to learn more, uh, head over to squadops.gg to learn more about our platform. Muff, why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce yourself. Say hi to everyone. Hi, everybody. My name is the Muff Bandit. Perspective is that uh, I commentate south, frequently. Uh, not a lot anymore, but because we have more commentators. But here with Karma Cut, we're going to be so showing you guys Operation Shockwave tonight on the new map of Mestia. And then you just move them in. It's brand new. Okay. It came out a couple of days ago, oh, we know like it was meant for this weekend. So we made an op for it. I'm going to disconnect, reconnect. And it's yeah, be it's a good uh, one tonight. is definitely a really, really fun uh, new map. Uh, having a great time uh, playing this brand new map, uh, definitely with all the assets and everything like that and all the different layers. It's definitely been a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to roll through a couple of the multiple cameras that we have for you tonight and kind of give you that that little taste of uh, that multi-cam perspective. So as you go and uh, watch through, you'll see different cameras and different perspectives. At the top right, however, you will see the name of the person you're watching. We've got multiple people streaming to us tonight. Yeah, you'll you'll see Penn bounce through him here shortly. Like you're on me right now, I think. But uh, let's get down to business and the hard tactics of this. It's Operation Shockwave. You can see we're above the U.S. team. So we're, this is the United States Army. They're going to be going up against the militia. Uh, they will be outlined in red. The U.S. are outlined in blue. It'll be that way uh, the whole time for Karma Cut and myself. Uh, it depends what team you're watching or whose first person camera we're on. Those will get crazy and intense. But that you're there for the the experience of that let's go yep, down to so what we get, though. yeah yeah uh command uh we structure our operations and events with commands as well as squad leaders they break it, their squads down into fire teams and if they feel like it they'll even assign battle buddies so it'll go down to a two-man team if it comes down to it uh it's it's us against militia we're gonna play one round of that then after we're gonna switch and uh, it'll be us against militia again but the teams will be different C uh, completely opposite uh, what else? What are some other basic squad yes, ops need to know common yay. stuff? Yay! I, I guess know. we could talk more about the actual one life awesome. and uh, what we mean by one life events in operation. So okay. essentially, in squad ops, there is no revival. Once you are down, you hit that black screen. That is it for you. At that point, you will exit the game and you are solely a spectator. So uh, you really get that rush of adrenaline. It's kind of um, a really hardcore, really immersive and tactical experience uh, that we try to bring out. It's not really a competitive platform, uh, but we are trying to offer an experience to players and and to the viewers, of course, to uh, kind of get them in the action, get that high octane, high intensity moments going on. Uh, and rounds can last uh, throughout the entire hour, hour a half even. And uh, yeah, we can see some really cool things happen as numbers start to dwindle and uh, squads start losing members, command breaks down. And uh, you start seeing some people have to, you know, problem solve on the fly uh, to get the objective done. As these games are objective based, we do have certain... Uh, things that teams must complete in this operation the u.s is looking to find and destroy a uh, militia radio and and the uh, militia radio radio can be placed in uh, one of three locations uh, in the center of the map that would be known as crucible alpha beta and gamma uh, so militia at this point in time is setting up their defense they're picking which location they want to put the, down the radio and then once both team commanders are done with their briefing the team will move out and uh they'll assault the objective um wow that's correct in fact the u.s uh, are silence briefing right now you can see everybody bundled up looking at a few guys okay. that would be command and Again, their squad leaders um, for the u.s all we're gonna command be is gonna is be a fellow named creeping or not looking a to very experienced squad leader he was leading around new so squads all day they have, yesterday they so can uh, either fortify that he's got a few great squad alpha, leaders on him too four to be exact their names are shadowed ritual we're gonna see which they do sightless and we're gonna silent death all of them okay. have experience. They're, they've been with um, ops for a leads. long time. Go ahead and break them out. And uh, we'll cut over. You want to do the, do you know the militia side, Karma Cut? I've got it here if you don't have it. Yeah, go for it. Okay. They're, they're going to be led by Best Pony. He's commanded plenty of times. Very knowledgeable and 
capable commander. His squad leaders are XF, Hammered Hebrew, LaRue, and Evans SMA. So all these guys have, have squad led, played in multiple operations. They've got experience, so they're competent and confident leaders. Confidence can matter a lot when you're giving orders to your guys in this when you only have one life. And you guys are afraid, someone's got to push in. And if, if you don't feel confident pushing in, it's so going to get trouble for now. We're going to move up to here, and we'll move So, they're, they're, they went through their briefing. You can check see the squads map, on the mark. That's where we're uh, going. Actually, you're we're on the other side. The on the machine gun, gun mark. You look at them. Rifle I'm not sure mark. if they're briefing or not. I haven't flown over there yet. Yeah, U.S. just finished their brief, so we're uh, we're just waiting on, I think, militia now to get started, and we'll kick off this operation. This is a uh, purely uh, yeah. a infantry operation where we're going to see both teams using... Uh, I think there's only one Lodgy on this operation, so that's just for militia to get their defenses up. They're allowed one mortar and two HMGs, uh, and we'll see Americans assault this hill and try to take Crucible. It looks like that's Crucible beta staying up on right now. Yeah, that's correct. There are a lot. The, the, the militia are given multiple are, places to choose from to set up their fob. Scout out whoever you'd like. Radio. Try not to cap farms. And if you that can. makes the U.S. have to try uh, and figure out where it's at and but yeah, move free in to scout out and engage without the flank. Try not to engage without if you picking can. the wrong spot. Maybe they'll throw a decoy squad somewhere to lure them the other way. So there's a lot that can go on. There's a lot that can happen. These these missions have a lot of different options to keep them dynamic for the main part. So yeah, it looks like they, uh, they they decide to put their radio in this uh, northern crucible location. And it's got a pretty good defensible position here. We're going to see where they decide to put their HMGs and the mortars. I know that mortars on defense are extremely effective, especially on a map like this where you can observe your rounds from quite a ways uh, at distance. So we're going to see if they are able to keep the U.S. at distance with their assets or if U.S. is going to be able to use the terrain to get underneath and break those lines of sight. And that's something about the U.S. And many of our missions, many of the operations and events include vehicles. And I think the only vehicle is the Logi truck in this, in this actual operation, which is pretty rare nowadays. So that, that'll be cool to see. You're going to see a lot of infantry tactics moving around, trying to stay in cover. You know, the U.S. are tan colored in the sea of green. So they might stick out a little bit if they're not careful. Yeah, both teams now getting set. So we're not allowed to engage, but we can kill the, the um, if you have... And there's actually a few oh, asset rules sure. within the squads that we also assign. Like, there's almost squad yeah. ops staples, like almost it, 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 every single, every single one. Your, your, Hello. your squad gets two ARs, those are automatic riflemen, and one medic. That's per squad, so there's four squads all together, so the team can have up to actually five medics if there's extra players and they're on the command squad and they can and they can get a medic there am i going to say all right and we're going to listen into militia briefing here now they've gotten their plan set and they're going to distribute that throughout the uh, platoon and uh, after that we should be set for live and the game will kick off so i am going to say of uh, georgia however the evil imperialist american bastard pigs have come to take it from us so we're going to defend our beloved land against them to that end, we have we have established a, a bold and provocative fob at a rolled ruined fortification from from a war long past in Echo Four Two Seven. We need to make sure that that fortification does not fall to the Americans. It's it's our bait so that we can lure the the American forces into open confrontation and and wipe them out man to man. Now, we're going to move some men and material around the battlefield here. Uh, we're going to move Squad One's going to be burning rubber up to that. Friendly fob marker, Echo 353. Three. That's going to be where they, they want to start out, right? Uh, squad 2, the replacements. Um, two of them are going to be running in a logistics truck with me, and then one of their guys is going to be reassigned to my squad, actually, and he'll be he'll be working with me as we go. I'm going to go set up a scouting position at Quarry up on the hill so I can see kind of the entire map. And, uh, yeah, basically we're going to run the Lodgy up as close as we can to Crucible Alpha. Uh, we will dismount... Um, those reinforcements, initial reinforcements from Squad Four, and the Lodgy Close will then begin the running, US. making runs back to Militia Main. Uh, they'll try and get some fortifications down, get some some other good stuff, and then Squad, yeah, Squad Four is on the point. Uh, squad you Two turn, is being uh, driven up. Uh, let me. Squad I three can do it. Is going to end up uh, right there. At Echo Three. Sorry, Squad One's going to break there. Echo. Yeah, 
uh, and three is going. There we go. That's that's who I forgot. Three is going to end up there at Echo five seven eight. Uh, one's going to end up at Echo three five three. Two's going to end up at a point. Four's already in the point. That pretty much covers everyone's positions. Uh, hold until your last breath. Kill every American you see. That more or less, yeah, is the whole theme of the evening. Everyone, cool let's go that? over the ox. Yep. Or one yep. question. Maybe. Sure. Why not? Questions. Yes, sir. Okay. Question. Uh, Pony, that machine gun at E four nine one. Are we allowed to use that? Uh, you can use any of the machine guns on the map. They're not necessarily going to be very useful. I mean, that one's like downhill from our fob, so probably. They're not most very likely helpful. coming from that angle. They're they're mostly coming. So look, they're they're going to stream in from either here, here. Fucking, I hate the marker system sometimes. Here or here, right? So that's that's it. Okay, so we can't we can't let them get in from there. That's those are the locations are going to come. So we're going to have a squad up here to shoot them in the back. We're going to have a squad reinforcing the point to make sure they don't come up that pass. And we're going to have a squad like right there to prevent them from coming from that direction. So the machine guns are mostly irrelevant. Hey, just to let you know, we got two minutes to live till we broadcast. Understood. I have a question. Nope, no more questions. Two minutes to live. Uh, no questions allowed. Um, okay, I need... quick, quick, quick. No, no, not two minutes to live. Two minutes to... Don't or no, slide two minutes to broadcast. Okay, not two minutes live. Yeah, don't slide on the rocks. Um, let's go over that. There's a lot Make of rocks. It as realistic as possible. See these fucking cliffs? Don't slide down the cliffs. That's <laughs> go slow and meth slow like you would in real life. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Like, I slide down rocks sometimes. They're pretty fun. Yeah, literally, we're gonna be hosted on Joint Squad. So behave yourselves. Um. Yeah. This is this is for a charity event for Stack Up. So be nice. Uh. Um, people, yeah. people look at us for being realistic. So be realistic. And and for being just generally yeah. pleasant. Uh, all right, so, I, I Hammer, do you want to get whoever that was who was going to join me reassigned? We're going to mount up in the lodging, and we're going to yeah. fucking get this on the road. I love realism. We're grunts, not pleasant. And it's a Lodgy truck, right? Not a technical? Yeah. Yo, yo, Pony, what's up? Hey, uh, go ahead and grab a medic kit, and then, yeah, hop in the lodge truck with me. All right. All right, well. <laughs> I, I didn't actually hear, I didn't hear what Militia briefed about. I have no idea, because I wasn't over there. I was watching over here. But I'm sure they got a nice big plan. Yeah, it should be good. It should be good. Just a reminder tonight, guys, that all donations do go towards Stack Up uh, Veterans Charity. So thank you once again to everyone that's donated and everyone that uh, plans on donating, uh, giving back to those who uh, serve. Oh, that's right. I'm sure people have heard it all day, and it's not going to stop now. Oh, yeah. We yeah, hit the goal. Thanks. Yeah. Squad thanks hit the goal. All the so. veterans, current and former service members, everybody. I'm glad we could be a part of it and help support the charity campaign for Stack Up here. All right. It said we're live at 1.33, so that is about a minute and a half. You can see these guys getting antsy. They're all kind of separated into their squads, getting ready to move. Looks like there are four separate squads, and command is going to be moving right here. I can tell the commands. They've got they've got radios. The squad leaders and command have radios on their back, so you can see that antenna. Yeah, just a reminder for anyone that's uh, joining late, my name is Karmcut. I'm the founder and leader here over at Squad Ops. I'm joined by Muff, one of our senior admins, and Penn, the man behind the uh, camera, switching all those perspectives together for you guys. Uh, just a reminder that if you're Quickly, curious about Squad Ops or want to learn more about Squad Ops, go ahead and check out squadops.gg and follow us over on twitch.tv for uh, more content. And then uh, for uh, anyone that's looking to donate or looking to give back, uh, we do have a donation uh, set up for the stackup.org uh, charity. So okay. make sure you hit that button as well. Creep up on us. We're gonna be starting here real soon. So no enemies over at Foxtrot Four or Echo Four, or whatever so, you want to call it. The, uh, you can see how a lot of this, uh, a lot of squad ops, is a lot of patience, a lot of planning, okay, putting a lot of pieces together, so that not when there, not events happen, when certain situations happen, engagements, uh, ambushes, whatever, there's a lot of meaning behind each and every uh, opportunity and experience, and that's really what we're trying to bring to squad ops, especially with the one life. It really makes things, I guess, more memorable and really puts you in a very immersive okay, environment um, where everything really counts. And, you know, it's not just a 
watch every single every every single game you actually have you know memorable moments and that's kind of the experience platform that we believe in over here at squad ops all right guys we've had ties there's been ties before where the last two yeah. guys actually shoot each other at the same time and die and they don't even know they're the last two because the, they they don't know how many enemies are left they just know that they're the last guy alive on their team and they're there's nobody talking to them once you're dead you can go into like the spectator camera flying around we got everybody set up so that they can fly around like that. It's it's quite simple to do in the long run. And but boom, there we go. Cool. We get the live yeah. call. And uh, you can see uh, U.S. spreading out pretty well. They got one squad right, on the left, one center left, left, one center right, right and one on the extreme right. Uh, they're going to be pushing um, towards the crucible. Order, and uh, we'll see how they uh, uh, approach and how Militia sets up their defense with the mortars and HMGs. Or if they opt for more sandbags and more sure buildable defenses. Exactly. What? Oh, yes. Excellent move out by the U.S. Nice formations running along. Militia is also yep. on the move. Right on. Yeah, so right. this op, uh, our ops, of course, are all handcrafted by our mission design team. So they'll have different mission objectives, diff different assets. In this operation, it's uh, mainly infantry-based uh, operation with some light trans and supply for militia. But for the most part, Americans have no armored assets. They're pushing in on foot, and that really affects certain operations when you have certain assets taken away. So uh, U.S. now pushing directly towards the crucible. You can almost see the crucible from here, actually. Uh, I doubt they'll be engaging at that range. But uh, militia might have eyes on the uh, U.S. already as they start pushing out here. I, I think I heard the commander for U.S. creeping say that he saw them up on Crucible. So they, they're aware that somebody's up there. Unless you're in a bush like I am. Yeah, Messia, definitely a really, really interesting map. Uh, a lot of dips, a lot of valleys, a lot of high ground as well. So really, really interesting uh, play here with the difference in elevation so a lot of ver vertical play as well so it's gonna see uh we're gonna see how this comes into play as we get closer and uh if u.s decides to engage hilltop to hilltop or if they do decide to assault straight up the cliff yeah that'll be very interesting oh and to go with that there's no optics none of these infantrymen will have optics at all if they had a v there, there's actually be no optics at all because there's no vehicles besides the logic which means it keeps it pretty fair. We, not yeah, everyone can have an optic, and leader, he's looking, we tried he's it. It, it didn't work now. so good. The, the optics we were too play. strong. So all these guys are going to have iron sights one and some time. red dots Come on, to hit each other one. with. It should be a lot of fun. We're going to see some great engagements. I'm right above Crucible right now. I can, I'm on the radio for the militia. They're the red guys below me. And they're kind of right in the middle. But you can see, I'm going to get down here at their level. They're looking at the hills and stuff across. And you can see the little blue dots way out there. Now, I'm not sure if they can actually see them or not. But they're definitely paying attention. They're still constructing stuff. All right. So we got eyes on by the U.S. They're pushing up here. Uh, Silent Death has eyes on. Right, We're going to see if he uh, decides to make any calls here if he just relays that information. Yeah, big one. All right. Uh, I think we can probably get close enough to get up to that fortification, the big one. Not that I'm going to because I'm pretty sure they put an ID down. All right. Oh, that was the first fired. shot. I think that's an HMG right now firing sure at a, is. a squad up on the hill. That's a far and north. That's first contact. Yes. They place HMGs at the fob that they're going to reinforce. And stay oh, out. and I can hear the cackle of M4s on the militia side. There's three guys with M4s right, over here. So they seven, just popped a bunch off. Zero casualties, but that is going to well. slow that squad down uh, a little bit. So they're over on that. The big thing was uh, militia know, said, hey, we know you're there. The mm -hmm. We know you're there, so you better be careful and slow it down coming our way. In. I don't see why they would hop on that. Oh, you're sick of some pop shot, no casualties. You guys are taking pop shots? Yeah, from the H and G. Second squad in contact here. This is squad one. They're getting lit up by two times HMGs. I think we have the first casualty. No, no, he's hit, but he's going to bandage himself back up. Oh, no, someone went down. We do have the first casualty. 
uh, couple casualties. Keep Those HMGs to really more. proving to be pretty uh, powerful at this totally range. U.S. is not really able to alpha. return fire at this distance with their small arms. However, we do have a squad. I believe this is squad four here pushing closer. Still undetected by the militia. They're, if they can get into the uh, the crucible ruins here, they're going to be able to put fire on the on the compound and relieve some of that pressure that's on their uh, sister squad. Uh, one and four. I'd like you guys to push in a little bit closer. Uh, copy. Shadow's down. We lost one. Okay, Raj. Militia digging up an SPG right here. Oh, that's a mortar. That's not an SPG. That's a mortar. I was about to say, what are they? Where are they going to aim at? They get this mortar. They're going to put another HMG down somewhere. They are not going to be moving to quarry or warehouse. They are staying at at hilltop there. That mortar is up. We'll see if anyone decides to use it. Militia here, still trading some shots back and forth, but they're uh. Yeah, there's the HMG fire again. Oh, did they get one? Yeah, they got a couple. A couple of the U.S. have uh, have gone down at this point. Uh, really being uh, exposed on that hilltop as they skylined. Uh, they kind of paid for that. But we'll see uh, if uh, they stay off those hills or if they decide to push in again. You know what? They just got creeping. They just got U.S. command. That's creeping death that they just killed. He is down. That is unfortunate. <laughs> so yep, U.S. command better. getting picked off at that range. That HMG gunner must have the eyes of a hawk at this distance. Uh, so props to him. He's He's got a couple kills here now, actually. I believe uh, he's got at least three kills. Right so on. U.S. chain of command is now going to have to fill the gap, and they're going to have to start uh, planning what they want to do. Something else I noticed, Shadowed Ritual, he's a squad leader for squad one, he's down. So there's three leadership roles left. Some unlucky casualties early on, and, and like in squad ops, like anything can happen. Your SLs go down off the bat, it's going to be up to your uh, fire team leaders to fill that gap, get the squads moving again, and uh, get things rolling. This second squad over here on the far left flank is being lit up again by two HMGs. There are a couple of uh, infantrymen here over from Militia. They might be able to do a lot of damage. They're setting up here in an ambush position in these bushes. And this valley right here that US is in, this is not a good position. They got they got crossfire from the HMGs on the point itself, as well as Best Pony, which is uh, Militia Command over here with a scout. And uh, we're gonna see if they're gonna decide to engage, or it looks like they're gonna pull back and actually just relay their information. Militia Command does not want to go down, so he's going to pull back. And uh, U.S. is going to try to push down that hill under that HMG fire. They also have enemies in the other... Smart directions. move by the command. Oh, there we go. There's some, some fire back from the U.S. Yep, U.S. Militia finally taking the crucible HMG. gamma, I think. Coming out. Yep. And uh, they're engaging. A lot of long-range engagements in squad ops, as you can see here. Uh, as, that, as you only have one life, you know, getting those early kills, getting those... You know, long distance volume of fire shots on target. If they hit, they can be extremely devastating to a team as you can will numbers down before they get there. Mortar's now coming in for these troops. And they are running. They're going to pull off that hill. The mortar fire coming in, pushing them off, as well as crossfire from two militia uh, positions. One on the point direct and one on the right flank for the U.S. here. And it's not looking good for U.S. Looks like they're bypassing the fortification in uh, F417 and they're moving they're moving kind of Yeah, like the US are scrambling, that's for sure. Militia's not Militia, however, back. They see them and they're just shooting no yeah. shooting them up. Militia expending a lot of ammunition, but we'll see if it pays off and how many casualties they can inflict. Uh, as of right now, it seems that there are four down for U.S., zero down for Militia. Still early on in the op, but we can see these numbers starting to dwindle here as the troops from both sides get closer and closer. You have to repeat. Militia's got another squad up north that's that's engaging. So they are effectively putting them in a crossfire a little bit. And I see the U.S. just scrambling. Everybody's moving, running. They don't know where safe is. The one 
thing that U.S. has going for them right now is uh, Squad 2 in the far south has yet to be spotted. As we can see here, they're pushing now down into that valley in the far left through the mist. They're going to be pretty, pretty well obscured here uh, with the squads on the right flank drawing fire and attention. I believe this squad hasn't been spotted either. This is Squad 1 down here on the uh, south. I think they took a couple casualties, but I don't think they've been spotted moving up this close. However, we do see a couple malicious spotters and infantrymen in that tower directly in front of us. So we're going to see... Oh, yeah, they, they get spotted as soon as I say that. Uh, there is some cover here for the U.S., but they are going to start taking fire here. That was an RPG coming out from that tower. It does wound one American. He's going to start bandaging. Some hard cover here, but we're going to see if this squad is going to be able to maneuver out of here, fighting against high ground and mortars. I think these uh, mortars are going to land pretty much on that hill to the right. They're really focused on denying that territory to the U.S. We're going to see how this progresses, though. Yeah, they're definitely shooting east at that squad. That squad is bailing. They're taking off from that hill, trying to get off of it. He's talking yeah, about this is a man. rough, rough location for the U.S. down here oh, in this valley. They're getting hot. They're trying to drop, pop smokes, as you can see to the front. They'll yeah. probably try to maneuver after that. But right now, this squad is absolutely pinned. We'll zoom on over here to uh, Crucible Gamma, see what they're trying to do. Looks like they're trying to maneuver around the mortars. Uh, that mortar's denying the right side of the, uh, the Crucible Gamma point. And uh, they're going to try to start sneaking along the left here. More mortars coming out. We'll see whether they, they land. Oh, and they're actually spotted on that squad down there on the, uh... Oh, on the on the left flank, and those are on target. Those are devastating mortars right now for Militia. This squad is going to get decimated down here in the, uh... In the valley, mortars landing. You can see that smoke cover as they try to crawl out of that position. But now with mortars and with HMG fire and small arms, they're going to be pretty much, uh, doomed here. Ooh, those mortars are so close. They're lucky they're crawling out of there, but... Man, they are exposing yeah, themselves. So Fire erupting from this squad over here as they try to take pressure off that squad, allowing them to maneuver out of the out of the uh, engagement zone. I mean, there are trading efficient fire right here. Yeah, there's bullets hitting the ground next to these guys. As they're crawling along. Yeah, you can see both those ARs from squad, I believe this is squad 4. Yeah, from squad 4 lighting up that tower, trying to suppress. They do actually manage to injure a couple of the militiamen. You can see them right now uh, backing into the corner. Good effective suppressing fire from the squad. It's going to allow that squad on the left to push out of that zone. Those saws coming right back online as soon as they're reloaded. They're starting to put massive amounts of fire on that tower, really allowing that squad on the left that's caught in the valley to really move. They're drawing that pressure, and you can see that movement on the left side as they do push out of that uh, that kill zone. They have, yeah, they have saved them. They've reached cover. Most of them have so far. Those saws did a good job. Yep, we'll uh, zoom out here and check the casualties once again. Casualties for U.S. are mounting. We have a, inflicted a few uh, a few casualties that on the militia side, but nothing, I think, too drastic. It's still leaning very much so in the militia's uh, favor. That squad on the left, however, did manage to get out of that uh, kill zone with squad 4 support. And squad 2 coming in on the flank, still undetected. We're going to fly over there and see if uh, the squad 2 on the left flank gets spotted. All right, what's the plan? We're getting very close. We'll make contact within one minute. Copy. We'll continue to just hold their attention. I hear the comms from the from the squad leaders. They're they're trying to communicate. That it was quiet for a second, but they've kind of saved each other. They've gotten to to comfortable spots. They're talking to each other, asking about the plan. The the southern southwestern squad that hasn't been seen yet. Yeah, that is squad too, as Carmen Cup mentioned. They uh, they are close. Yeah, Silent Death actually taking his squad really slow, steady, and stealthily up to the point. They are on the f wide flank of the point, and I don't think any militia is checking this sector right here. And if they get close enough, they can do some massive damage on that first initial flank. And uh, we'll see if... Oh, looks like they're actually going to be joined by the remnants of Squad 1. So this flank can actually really, really, really hurt militia if they're not expecting it. I also noticed the mortars are still going down to the southeast, kind of. So I believe that they actually think the... I think they think they went through the tunnel. I think that they think that other squad went through the tunnel, so they've not even looking that way anymore right now. Quite possible, quite possible. This flank could be real, real devastating to the militia. Yeah, very good control by Silent Death and his squad, keeping his team in cover, low. Good, uh, good uh, control here from this oh, here squad go. leader. Hilltop to hilltop battle going on from militia to U.S. The 
East. We're gonna see oh, how this, uh, how this works out. Rain it down. Yeah, I think, uh... Squad 4 right there on that hill on Crucible, once again, taking a lot of fire, but that is their job, I believe, at this point. Their job right now is to just keep on distracting Militia on that point, keep those mortars focused over there. However, we do have contact initiated on this western flank. They are engaged now. They have been spotted. Frags coming out from both sides. AR's trying to suppress the tower. Now, Silent Death needs to get his squad to move. The jig is up. He needs to inflict as many casualties as he can now before his team gets bogged down. And we can see those uh, frags getting thrown back and forth. Both team members on uh, either side really playing it cautious with all this fire coming out now. Yes, excellent However, GLs. good movement. Tower. Yup, good movement, good GLs. Excellent point, Muff. We do see squad one on the right side here trying to push up. However, the militia in the opposite tower of the Crucible is being able to uh, suppress the le the excuse me the right side of this tower. I don't know if the US is going to be able to take this point. All the frags being tossed right now. Oh yeah, they're going all out. Militia actually yes, making the right call. Up. Yeah, they they dis they decide to abandon the tower, shift left into the logs. I don't think U.S. is expecting this, and this could be pretty deadly if U.S. only focuses on the tower. You got to maintain that situational awareness. Don't tunnel vision on just the objective, but sweep around and through it. Uh, however, I think Silent does know that there's movement on his left, but this counterattack by Militia can totally crush this flank. Copy. We're gonna try and rush in. I'm right here. There's a militia and U.S. guy. They're sharing a rock, just opposite sides from each other. <laughs> you can see that uh, constant pressure and, and movement, making sure that some squad is engaged in either suppressing or keeping the enemy occupied. Right now, this western flank drawing a lot of the fire, but that squad that was initially on Crucible, that squad oh, got four, him. is now pushing in. We can't do anything about it. All right, they've cleared the tower. On the They on have the cleared the tower. They're taking yep, ground they're bit by bit. Yep. Squad 4 now in trouble, spotted from the high ground. The the Silent Death needs to get his squad in position to, to relieve that pressure, otherwise they're going to get bogged down in the open. But U.S. making good ground here, right. taking the tower, clearing it now with grenades. Clear that building. However, like I said before, they need to make sure that they maintain that situa uh, situational awareness and clear this left tree. Otherwise, uh, these four militiamen now offset from the objective are going to be able to sweep in on the U.S. on the U.S.'s flank. Yeah, that 360 degree matters a lot. Got to keep 360 degree coverage of themselves. Yep. Oh, oh and there I it don't... goes. They initiate contact. They're going to be pushing in on that left flank now. All of the U.S. spacing, spacing, spacing. This is oh, a no. really bad moment oh, no. for U.S. Oh, frag! Uh! Oh, Only gets one. one. That could have been really bad. Everyone needs to spread one. out now. I think uh, the call goes out spacing. You can see them starting to spread out after that. Frags coming in from Militia. They need to maintain that battle spacing if they want to survive this assault. However, that left flank, like I said before, not maintaining that. They left their left flank exposed. And now U.S. is paying for that. Uh, zero cover on their left. And they're getting chewed up. However, squad four, who made that uh, push from down from the hill, they're now assaulting the main compound. We'll see if they're able to take that. But uh, yeah, U.S. now getting chewed up as they're getting too tunnel visioned on the tower itself. They're completely trapped at the tower now. Oof, they, they don't know where to go. They don't know what to do. Yeah, they're pinned right now on that tower, and it's not They've looking good. Friendlies. The friendlies are coming in from the east. Yup. Squad 4 has made that push across the valley. They are now on the, the slope of the objective hill. They are making the push with smokes. Good call from that squad leader to obscure that push. Frags going out as they get closer. And this, this fallen tree right here in this left flank for Militia really, really, really uh, locking up the uh, U.S. A little miscommunication here at this point. It looks like U.S. is firing on each other. I think they're trying to suppress the tower itself. Uh, that was actually... That was Militia. Interesting, interesting. Militia A lot of action going on here now. <laughs> Things are kicking off pretty intensely. Here they come. I see a squad leader leading the way in here. Northeast side. He's got a guy right in front of him. He takes him out. Good shot. But he, his friendly gets hit. Here comes a nade. Oh, it's overthrown. Oh, another one just barely underthrown. The squad leader is down. U.S. are taking heavy casualties. 
Yeah, once again, as we look at the scoreboard, once again, oh. this is squad ops, so this is a one life event. Looking at the scoreboard here, we have seven kills for the US and 18 kills for the militia using those hills, HMGs, and their positioning to their advantage. They are uh, inflicting a lot of casualties on the US right now, and I'm not sure if US is going to be able to take the objective at this point. Yeah, they've been hit hard. They've lost 20 plus guys now, and seem very disorganized and confused. Most of this flank squad has been wiped out. They're taking shots from Command and his battle buddy off to the east. Best Pony and, and Seabass are over there just poking shots with a lot of success. This one U.S. fire team still trying to push the objective. We can see Militia recalling their... Uh... That outside team right there. Oh, th yeah, this crossfire is really brutal for U.S. right here. Oh, Digit drops a frag oh, as he no. goes down and manages to kill two of his teammates. I think we're mopping it up here for the U.S. I got two guys off to the east that, that appear to be moving and are alive for now. Make that one. Okay, one guy's alive there. Two, three more to the south. We got about four U.S. guys left. As well. They have just taken a beating. Yep. Almost 30 of them have died. Maybe more. A lot of things going wrong for U.S. A lot of early engagements at long distance. That HMG is going to beat small arms every time, assist, especially when assisted by mortars. Uh, and then those few casualties that did happen early game, those were U.S. command. And like we said, like at squad offs, it's one life. So as that command chain breaks down, there's you got to fill that spot with somebody. And you know, you not you don't necessarily have that full picture when your uh, when your leadership falls. Comms yeah, break times, down, plans break down. It's silent. Yeah, for silent yeah. for what? Five minutes before people are like, is so and so alive? Is our commander alive? Oh, US guy goes down. He did take out a squad leader, it looks like. Could have been nah, I think I think command is over on the east. Looks like it's just Dashby and a muck alive at this point. And uh, they're gonna try to flank around. Which is the only thing they can do, I, th I believe. That's really stretching the hope meter right there. At least one of them's a medic. So they could have a lot of success healing. They're, they're, they're forming a plan, I can hear them. It's always good to try. Okay. Right. Just like go around by like um Delta Force. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Twenty plus okay. left. And we should have militia. Push, west, but push down the hill. Very good west. performance by them. Yeah, down and south. They really just held their ground. They didn't spread out too much. And they built defenses quick. Ran that logic truck really well. Mm -hmm. We're probably going these idiots. Yeah, we don't have a chance like in a close range engagement, so we gotta keep shit at like a distance we can. We've gotta fight like villas, really. And like, how many bandages yeah. do you have? Where are these guys heading to? Uh, I got two. Nice. I've got five. Looks I've got... like they're trying to flank around I've the got west. Six. And I don't have a name. Got a, nice, got a nice big hill side they're going down, almost a cliff. They're scaling the side of. It looks like the militia are kind of getting. A little comfortable and spreading out, almost sending search parties out. You ignore the rifle. <laughs> Here, screenshot. So what do you think, we go across the water and then we hop north by the Delta 5 Key 8 hill? Yeah. Just start pushing northwest here. All right, these U.S. guys are now roughly the 400 so meters away. We've yeah. Light up like yeah. They've got a long ways to come in to, to oh, be safe. Off-world, if you're watching this, hashtag fix lighting. <laughs> Especially with the militia fanning out, they're really, they're really gonna have a hard time getting close enough to, Let's go to do any them. damage.
I hear, I think. Oh god, he sees us. They're still talking to each other. Maybe we can see all the cameras from all the dead players really just swarming around these last two guys. Uh, so, you know, nerves can get pretty high knowing that everyone's watching you, especially on a popular stream like uh, tonight. And, uh, yeah. You know, we've been in those shoes a couple times, and uh, it's pretty, pretty nerve-wracking being the last couple people alive. So, so I don't know what they're doing. I have There's no idea what their plan is here. They're getting farther away. We gotta make sure that Logi doesn't see us. I don't know if they're gonna try to draw them out. Yeah. Okay. There, there's their warning. They're they're We're getting flank, told flanking, get up in there. Tactical. Jeez. I know you're listening. All right, for well, anyone joining us here at the end near the lull, my name is Karmika, and I'm joined with Muff and Pen. We're all from Squad Ops and Squad Ops Community. We put on these great multi-camera streams uh, for every event. And uh, yeah, so Squad Ops, once again, just a one-life event experience uh, based platform. We, we try to bring the most intense and tactical and most immersive gameplay to you guys. Open to public, open to everyone. Check out squadops.gg if you're interested. Um, big thank you to uh, Join Squad for putting together the uh, event this weekend, the uh, charity event for Stack Up. If you'd like to donate to Stack Up, it's a veterans charity. I think we have the link going out in the chat uh, periodically. But yeah, great organization, uh, great events. And yeah, thank you to all the partners and everyone who's donated and even just stopped by to show your support. Really do appreciate it uh, on this uh, on this special Veterans Day for Squad. Yeah, actually, I think that there's a little info on the bottom of the stream as well. It's got the benefitingstackup.org. So that's definitely where to go if you're looking for the link or the, the site. All right, they're getting pretty close now. Yeah, they're getting close. Militia sent up a sent out a couple of sweeping patrols. Uh, U.S. getting really lucky and, and really narrowly missing this uh, sweeping patrol set out here on the southwest. Uh, but yeah, they're getting closer now. There's a gap here that they can really exploit if they push now. That patrol's looking the opposite direction, and now it's kind of got that stealth game feel. So they gotta they gotta get in close, inflict as much damage as possible, and uh, yeah, we'll see what the end result is. But uh, if they pull this off, I will be amazed. I I will have never seen a comeback like that. <laughs> like, was it two versus thirty right now? Yeah, um, I, I just. Uh, <laughs> so you uh, can see, I'm not really getting hyped for it to happen. <laughs> I mean, a little more stamina, I mean, this like, is just a, our thing. That's just a bit. They're getting more, close. Like, Ten steps more would be nice. My heart is I am. Not oh, sure if they can actually see. Oh, and he's engaging. Go around, go around. He saw us. The jig is up. Militia now knows that they're over here. You can see a couple uh, infantrymen pushing out to kind of get eyes on what's going on over here. Oh, they're gonna walk right up on some of the logs in that it's tree over there. Up. Fallen tree. Go get on my. Oh, he might be able to drop oh, one or two oh, if God. he gets positioned right. Oh, oh, zero five oh five. really compromised position now. Zero two forty. Oh, Ooh, I think he, I think he got clipped right there. I think I heard a. Yeah, he pulled out his bandage. And he's done. And he's done. That's, done. that's it. That's round one. We'll see. Yep, a lot that's of that. round one over here at squadops.gg. We're gonna be uh, switching sides here as we do with every event. Uh, so stick around for round two. We're gonna hit a really, really, really short intermission. Once again, my name is Karmika. I'm joined by Muff and Pen. We're gonna be playing a couple trailers for you. Uh, thank you once again to Join Squad and to Stack Up uh, for this event, and uh, we'll be right back with event two. Yeah. Round number two. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming out to SOTT Basic. I'm your instructor today, Hammering Hutch. You guys can simply just call me Hutch. When we are suppressing an enemy target, the whole intent of this is to keep the enemy's head down so an adjacent unit can maneuver onto them. During this process, we have a thing that happens automatically and organically. 
whether it be with buddy teams or fire teams. The only intent is to ensure there's no lull in the gunfire, thus talking guns. Open fire. Contact front. Alpha, bound. I'm up. He sees me. I'm down. Bravo, bound. I'm up. He sees me. I'm down. All right, Bravo set. Alpha, up. He sees me. I'm down. You're now in what is known as a file. You're now in what is known as a staggered column and usually used when on patrol or when moving from one location to another where contact is imminent. And these are a few of the basic formations that we use during squad ops. The SOTT Advanced Weapon Systems course was created to ensure squad ops participants share the same knowledge and understanding of the use and applications of mission-specific weapons and the basic tactics involved in their deployment. The Automatic Rifleman. The Automatic Rifleman is the foundation of a fire team and or squad. The job of the Automatic Rifleman is to deliver a high volume of prolonged, effective, suppressing fire on enemy positions to allow the maneuver of friendly units during offensive operations and the repelling of enemy attacks in defensive operations. The Grenadier, a key member of the fire team and squad, the Grenadier is first and foremost a rifleman who is capable of delivering accurate fire of both high explosive and smoke rounds on point and area targets at varying distances. One of the other added benefits of the Grenadier to engage dead space, which is essentially an area that cannot be hit by direct fires. The light anti-tank gunner. Soldiers carrying light anti-tank weapons are, just as grenadiers, riflemen first. They are the ideal infantry-based counter to both lightly armored and thin-skinned vehicles. At short, medium, and far distances, the rockets fired are a viable weapon against groups of infantry as well. The SOTT Advanced Weapon Systems course, although not a requirement, is highly encouraged for squad ops participants to join to expand their knowledge of how to utilize the tools that are given to us within squad. All right, welcome back. We're setting up here for round two of uh, SquadOps.gg Operation Shockwave. My name is Karmika. I'm the founder and leader over here at SquadOps. I'm joined by Muff, one of our lead admins, and Penn, the content creation manager, uh, not, not content creation manager, excuse me, one of our top content creation uh, staff members here who's going to be working the point of view cameras for you guys, the multicam, uh, which is very special to, his, to us over here at Squad Ops. A lot of time, a lot of work getting put into there. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to check out more of these multicam streams of these One Life events, uh, head over to squadops.gg uh, or twitch.tv slash squadops uh, to stay tuned for more content every week. Uh, this is Squad Ops once again, a One Life hardcore tactical immersive platform for Squad. And uh, yeah, I want to say thank you to OWI and to Join Squad and to... Uh, stack up for setting up this awesome veterans day event really do appreciate it if you guys have any time thank you so much for uh watching the streams and supporting the community uh but head over there to stackup.org and donate to uh the veterans charity and give back to those who uh who've uh given a lot to us so thank you so much to uh stack up in uh, owi and we're rolling in here to uh round two of operation shockwave so 
at squad ops we have a one life basis as such everyone needs to be on the same page so before every operation uh team leaders uh fire team leaders and command we do run a command in our platoons they are able to distribute the plan figure out what they're going to do team leaders sort their teams and who's going to have what kit uh, and make sure everyone's on the same page before they roll out so there is a period of time before every op where we do kind of uh, take a second to get those logistics planned out and uh yeah so we're going to be watching the briefings here as they come up uh, a lot of the team members are gathering right now as we can see in the corner of my screen over here this is all of command um all the squad leaders and command itself himself i believe uh we're watching best pony now command for the u.s so uh, as we're talking about the teams, we'll go through and talk about the uh, squad leaders tonight. So right now, tonight, on the U.S. team, we have Evan leading, leading squad one. We have Hammered Hebrew leading squad two. XF leading squad three. LaRue leading squad four. And Best Pony is playing U.S. Command for round two. He previously played, uh, all these guys previously played Militia. So we did a full team swap for round two. Uh, as we shift over here to uh, the Militia Forces Squad 1 lead is Shadow Ritual, Squad 2 is Digit, Squad 3 is led by Silent Death, Squad 4 by Sightless, and the command for Militia is uh, Creeping. So yeah, once again, Squad Ops is open to everybody. If you want to join these events, find out more, uh, head over to squadops.gg or check us out at twitch.tv slash squadops and uh, hit that donate button for Stack Up. And, uh, you know, thank you so much for your support and for supporting the charity. Yeah, and I don't think our update thing is it on the screen is working correctly yeah i think there might be a couple technical difficulties right now with said like, ticker. yeah it said 150 dollars like the whole time and it's it's more than that i don't even know what it's at though but yeah so we'll, 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 uh, we'll look into changing that but yeah <laughs> yep, so for anyone joining us late, squad options again is one life. That means once you hit that death screen, once you hit that black screen, there are no medic revives. Medic uh, exists only for the purpose of healing you back up after you've taken, uh, you know, a, a uh, glancing shot or something like that or fall damage or something like that. Uh, they can bandage you and heal you up, but they cannot revive. So once you hit that black screen, that's it. You then uh, watch the event from there. And uh, yeah, we've been going on for a little bit more than a year here, almost two years can can you imagine that so it's been it's been quite a trip been uh, a lot of growing pains a lot of cool experiences uh but yeah happy to put this on for the community happy to you know have these events open to everyone and uh, get anyone who wants to join in on this here straight down to here and kind of advance like that honestly what's going to kill us is them engaging us and us not being able to kill them back so really the, at the end of the day we just we just got to go toe to toe with them and, and win on kills that's like because we're going to be, there's no yeah, real... Are you, going, are you going north to Quarry? You're going north to Quarry, right? Uh, I was going to go south to Warehouse, actually, and kind of pathfind. Okay. All right. Copy. So, yep. All so right. So, uh, go to Warehouse, uh, breaking north, going around Fortification, and then attacking Crucible from the north? Actually, why don't we split it two and two? So, let's send um, Hammered with Evan. And then XF and Jack will go with me south. All right. As we cycle through the uh, multiple okay. cameras that right. we have today, yeah. as you look line. at the top right of your camera. screen, you'll see a name. Yeah, that is the name attached to that camera, and that's the, the uh, player that you're spectating. Uh, we I put a lot of time, a lot of work, and a lot of, lot of thinking into our multicam stream. So really thankful that uh, everyone appreciates that, and you guys like that kind of multicam stuff. But yeah, if you're wondering who you're watching, as we flip through these uh, streams, just check that top right, and you'll see the name of the person that you're watching. Blue, once again, is U.S. as we uh, stay spectating the U.S. and red will be militia. It does look like U.S. is ready to start their platoon brief. The command has come back to the platoon, and uh, we're going to see what they have in store for us as our commands have swapped after last round. All right, welcome to the platoon brief. Early this morning, house will get out. Yep. Please clear comms. In fact, comms were clear, and then you said to hold comms, and they weren't anymore. Um, but anyways... Tony, with the uh, ETA on your... Should take three minutes at most. Why? Oh, you're starting. Yeah, heads up, bro. yeah I'm doing my command brief right... Or platoon brief right now. That we're gonna clear go. comms. We're good to go right after that brief's done. Alright, so... Early this morning, uh, Georgian separatists, under the, the banner of the Black Hand, 
uh, seized control of key fortifications in the Mestia Valley, uh, near the, the city of Mestia, Georgia. Uh, the United States Army yeah. has been sent as a rapid reaction force to put a stop to this, this uprising. And so to that end, we're going to split platoon okay. in half. We need two squads uh, to go north. That's going to be the squads under the command of uh, Hammered Hebrew and uh, Evan SMA. They're, they're going to go north, right? You're going to flank following that line up to the north side of the map. Uh, you're you're going to go check out Recon the Quarry location. We, we've intelligence suggesting uh, that the enemy are, are at those Crucible fortifications, but we want to we wanna kind of pincher them. So we're going to have half the platoon go north to Quarry, and the other half the platoon is going to go south to Warehouse. Now, we might encounter enemy forces at either of these locations trying to set up a secondary forward operating base or to extract those forces from the Crucible. If that is the case, then we will annihilate them at one of those locations, and that will be the end of the matter. But if they are at neither of those locations and, in fact, have chosen to remain at the Crucible and fight us uh, there on the hilltop, then we are going to get the two squads that went towards Warehouse uh, to go and flank uh, over from the west side. And they are basically going to storm up the cliffs of the Crucible uh, with supporting fire coming in from the forces at Quarry, which will array themselves kind of on, on hills around the area uh, and be able to provide supporting fire. Does that make sense? Yep. Are you I'll supporting the attack, okay? Crystal? Cool. Any questions? Are you supporting attacks? the harnesses? But that's only for what two squads? What about uh, the Wook squad and the rest of the ones we weren't mentioned? They're going south to warehouse. Okay, copy. Yeah, just no listen to me. Two squads south. Hey, hey. Uh, what's our rules of engagement? Uh, oh, the one. ROE is if they shoot you, shoot them. Um, and basically, so if you think that you're still, like, not, you, you haven't been discovered, like, I, your uniforms are fucking tan, so everyone can see you from six miles away. If you think by some miracle <laughs> the militia person looking at you has not seen you, then please, for the love of God, don't shoot at them, because they're going to kill you, and you're not going to have a goddamn clue where they are. Um, however, if, if you, you know... If, you, if they see you and they look at you and they stare at you and pull out their gun and start drawing down, then yeah, you can light them up and try and uh, try and bound out of contact by fire team or buddy team or whatever the fuck you need to do. Uh, that's that's really all up to you. Just just use common sense. Don't betray your position if you haven't been spotted yet, and don't be afraid to engage the enemy if they're they're about to wipe you off the face of the earth. Worst case, ask your SL. Yeah, worst case, if you if you really don't know whether or not to take the shot, ask your squad lead, and hopefully by the time they get back to you, you're already dead. Uh, so there you go. Any other questions? This we doesn't look like Atlanta. But remember, <laughs> American <laughs> geography Georgia education Georgia is a okay. All right. Um, on that note, <laughs> we are going to go ahead and uh, and call ourselves you. ready and uh, get ready to go I live. You. On you, Alfred. Right, 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 guys. Try and maintain a small, good, good, visible good. Foot footprint, guys. Let's keep it in formation. Weapons tight. Where are we going? Uh, we're going south. Main is massive. <laughs> squad three, uh, I'm gonna take the uh, uh, point on the line. Two squads are we on the file, sorry. All right, and so that's the uh, U.S. plan for this operation. We'll see if it holds uh, and if Best Pony survives the opening fire. Unlike last uh, last round, we had a lot of early command casualties. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be really interesting. Both teams just wrapping up their briefings now. We're going to set for live soon. Squads are going to break down to their kind of micro briefings, making sure all their team leaders are on the same page, make sure, uh, making sure everyone has the right assets. And uh, yeah, we'll see how Best Pony decides to take the point and if he's able to take the point against overwhelming uh, militia defensive assets. Uh, Muff, would you like to go through the, uh, the uh, yeah. doc again? Yeah, let's run through it. Again, this is Operation Shockwave on the beautiful map of Mestia. Brand new map. It's a great one, too. USA is going to be bringing per squad two ARs, a GL, and a medic. Uh, the ARs are automatic riflemen. The GLs are grenade launchers. Uh, the medic can heal people, but they cannot actually pick them up. Once they're down, they're dead, hence the one-life event thing. Militia will also have two ARs and a medic per squad, but they get a lat instead of a GL. So they can hit them long shots and poke them in the hillsides. Uh, they'll be able to set up some defenses at their FOB, a mortar, a couple of HMGs, any defensive structures they have. They'll also get a, a HVT, a high-value target, with a scout kit. 
he can actually place mines and well, I guess he wouldn't want to place mines, but he can place the IED and it could blow up and stuff. Uh, it's going to be best pony against creeping again. Do, do we have a live time? Uh, same squad leaders under creeping, who is going to be the militia this time. He's going to have shadowed ritual, digit, sightless, and silent death. Best pony will have XF, hammered Hebrew, LaRue, and Evan SMA. And thank you, everyone, for being here and watching this. Head over to stackup.org. Yep, thanks to uh, OWI and Stackup for putting on this awesome Veterans Day event. Uh, I think it's I think it's going on great. Thank you to all the people watching and uh, supporting us, as well as the other uh, squad partners for uh, putting on great events, CCFN, NAS, and all those good uh, competitive events as well. So, yeah, we're glad that everyone's uh, popping in. Once again, this is Squad Ops, your one life squad experience platform open to all uh we're having some great 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 games here as uh as we push on into round two of operation shockwave the us are ready to go They're pretty lined up ready to rock watch these guys Two squads here. Not sure who. They're ready to go. Almost impatient. Looks like we'll be going before too long. Just, just know that. Huh. Wait, is this only the break? You gotta move fast. Wait, Tommy, are you okay? Yeah, no problem. Should bring back we'll be okay. Old Hello? I want my old Kevlar yeah, too. Didn't know, right? <laughs> two minutes, All Jesus. Right. I'm gonna take a leak. All right, we're oh gonna be God. going yeah, before squad two because I know the terrain a little better. What? Is anyone else having server That's what they said. things? Is that yes. I think Punk yeah. Hyper said something about that. Oh, it's doing a little better now. Last last game, first match was really? very laggy too. Like, Remember, no optics, flag. red dot only, yeah, or iron. All right, so we do have a live time. We'll be starting here in exactly one minute and 30 seconds. We're going to see if uh, Best Pony can, you know, use a better plan than uh, what was previously shown in round one and and take the hill against uh, overwhelming Militia Firepower. They Once again, Militia gets two times HMGs and one times Mortar, and we'll see what kind of uh, damage those assets are going to deal. I think that was the majority of the uh, U.S. casualties from the previous round. We're just off of those three heavy assets, uh, Doing a lot of damage with area denial as well as just long range, uh, long range engagements. All right, so actually, Shadow, you will have to come. In. Fifty seconds here. So Shadow will have to come. I will need a yeah. Yep. Hey Shadow, got me. I, I got will it. need to be in that lodgy. Yep, got me. All right, Dashby, you're running. You're running. I'll follow I'm my uh, AWS I'm training. Going to your house. You're, you're, yeah, you're going to warehouse. I gotta take your spot. This is Amazon web services. Guys, I'm joining you. Yay. Right, Dashby, yeah. on, Live in man. 20 seconds here. You can see all the US is lined up, ready to go. As soon as we start, they're going to start spreading out and start pushing. 15. 15. Are we going in this call? Weapons out on live. Oh, why'd you have to delay on live? Live in five. five seconds. Combat symbol. <laughs> live, so live, 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 and we're live here we go okay, looks like best pony right. opting to split two squads on the left and two squads on the right flank and uh we'll see how they're gonna be able to uh be able to do this we want to get there first double time yeah i love the double time once the guy behind you starts sprinting we don't start sprinting. Calls, but, uh... in front of you sorry we do have fun. We do have fucking see one lines, line is obviously much uh <laughs> much more strict <laughs> than the other. It's pretty pretty amusing to watch, I think. Left left is like ants. They're like ants. Stick to the edge of the map and get above warehouse. I've never seen such a clean file. <laughs> that is looking good. It's pretty amusing. They're literally like ants right now. 
I think it's because uh, commands over there they're trying to put on a good show. <laughs> well, well, on the right, it's just a it's just a big claw. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you can see uh, when commands around, better straighten up. <laughs> All right. Command, uh, crucible, crucible can see us. You can get glass on it. Copy, I'm glassing it now. I'm, uh... I distinctly remember hearing it, even though I don't know what that is. It's not the way to go. They can see us, but I don't see them. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go and check out what's going on with uh with the crucible. Okay, there we go. I see them. They're on the, the crucible to our northwest. I did. He yelled at me. This has become. I, I've only just realized how very dangerous this is. This is. Uh... And there still wasn't okay. Who's on first? All right, we have the initial militia squad on point. Looks like they opted for the opposite ruin. Previously, uh, round one, they decided to put the radio in the uh in the ruin over here, but looks like they're gonna opt for the southern ruin. Uh, which is a little bit smaller, but that might work out in their favor. Henry, Initial sandbags going down for militia, and uh, everyone's everyone's kind of like looking. You can kind of see the U.S. off in the distance here if you're paying attention. I don't think the uh, MGs are up yet for militia, but it's very well. Uh, they're they're pretty exposed right now. Best pony right there. We should have been dead if they did see us. And they're uh, kind of hiding in plain sight right now. This is a really dangerous position to be, simply because if a militia does decide to engage, they are literally halfway up the mountain. So uh, they either have to run up and get over the ridge, or down. Oh yeah. Oh contact. What was that? Oh someone. Uh, someone called contact, and they're. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. Oh there we go. What's that? My position will see us. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, RPG goes out. Oh, that was so close. That was such a far RPG. Props to that guy. That was really close. And yeah, US now getting engaged on the face of this hill. They're just gonna keep pushing. Second RPG goes out. That's gonna land low. But U.S. now, uh, now just trying to push down off the hill. Keep on moving. I think that's our first casualty right there. And I don't know about this call. This is uh, not not the ideal location to be when being engaged. It's it's almost like shooting fish in a barrel. It's a bold move. We'll see if it works out. This is something else. Um. But yeah, so far making out with uh, relatively few uh, casualties. You said go to the map order. Oh, they are way yeah, up there. That yep. the pass. I, sounds like a miscommunication oh, well. on command comms. Just he didn't want him to go that high. <laughs> Shots are getting fired though. You see the tracers heading out there. There is some good cover, some good rock cover. They're all making uh, their way to that uh, location. However, you got to be mindful of the mortars. Make sure you got spacing. Double time. Don't even but yeah, Keep I mean, they made it. <laughs> I think uh, that's one U.S. casualty basically it. for uh, for the U.S. is just a single casualty. You can do. So I mean, they, they I mean, they made it. They, they did it. They're they're all exposed, and and militia knows exactly where they are. So if mortars do get placed. They are gonna be in in a little bit of a little bit of a pickle. Oh, that's my fault. I said we should go north after the pass and jack off at an angle. But uh, they made it. I mean. Um, it's a bold strategy, a but I mean, I guess it worked out. Nobody, there's, no one died. I know, matter. right? <laughs> someone, someone... All right, let's check out what the other U.S. Uh, squad is doing. Uh, other, other U.S. squad is uh, on the opposite extreme of the map. He's uh, Get to my he's position the outside. Looks like Pony is just going for a huge, huge, huge flank uh, from uh, both sides. Going to pinch down from the north and the south. was up there with the lat almost that was yeah. that was pretty insane it that went, rocket went though that would that rocket was insane that rocket was insane that was so close what what, what is his distance Let, let's take a look here i'm 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 up there, so I think so 600 there meters 700 meters on that lat and that landed within five meters of, of us that's good question 
I'm impressed. I'm thoroughly impressed. Saw gonna opening up on the US again, but US is pretty much they, they hit the tree line. They're gonna be pretty safe here. There's a lot of cover and concealment for them. Uh, but yeah, for anyone joining us late, my name is Karmacut. I am the uh, leader and director over here at Squad Ops. The Squad Ops is a one-life experience-based platform for Squad. I'm joined by Muff, one of our senior admins, and Penn, uh, one of the uh, content creation staff members who puts together these multicam streams. Uh, Muff, why don't you say hi again? Hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to learn more about... Uh, more about squad ops and our one life events and scenarios. We also do uh, training and uh, you know, kind of seminar kind of stuff as well as uh, host vanilla squad servers. Go ahead and check out squadops.gg as well as twitch.tv slash squad ops. And I want to say thank you once again to OWI and to uh, Stack Up for putting on this awesome day event. Uh, if you'd like to donate and support the veterans, go ahead and click that link in the chat. Um, it's it's for stackup.org, which is a charity for veterans. Uh, awesome, awesome or organization. And uh, yeah. Because like they're reinforcing it, and I really, I really don't like being. All right, well, yeah, the militia ups. have moved their fob if to the south to warehouse. Guys, we know the warehouse. Oh, yeah, or started it there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get some over here. Over here. Was assigned to build All right, so uh, militia so actually so successfully forward. making it to uh, warehouse. They're gonna actually yeah, plan their defense around uh, warehouse. And so this is really gonna mix things up from the first round. The first round we had U.S. attacking the uh, the, crucible, the crucible, but. Militia actually opting for the warehouse as they reach the warehouse and secured the uh, location. Looking at this kind of defense, looks like we have one militia squad in the low ground on the left, one squad holding I mean, the point proper, and another squad up on the hill on the right flank. So it's going to be interesting to see how uh, how U.S. deals with this change in plans. Uh, we do have that two squad element on the far north now far out of position so uh this is going to be a quite quite a long engagement i think here yeah these two southern there's this southern squad or two of them they've already got shot at and they're moving down the problem is the rest of the team is way on the other side of the map i mean they're a kilometer away plus some that's honestly not a bad idea so if this U.S. force gets too close, they're they're not going to have any backup, should, so and then running away is not going to be an option anymore. Yeah, it's definitely going to be uh, pretty risky for U.S. to try to assault this, uh, essentially on a two to one uh, ratio here, outnumbered. Uh, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty delicate for Best Pony to use his position, try to get the kills that he can using this high ground. Uh, but he needs to show restraint and not push in until his reinforcements arrive. He literally has two squads to the far north scouting the other position, so he's got to hold this position, get the kills that he can, but show restraint and make sure he doesn't commit to anything that he cannot handle. Uh, militia squad on the far right flank now, getting in position to ambush this U.S. squad. U.S. squad has to assault up this hill on the right, and uh, militia is in position to meet them on the opposite. At Ridge. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see uh, what this U.S. squad is going to be able to do here and if they can take this ridge. If the U.S. can uh, outnumber this ridge and control this high ground, they'll have a lot of line of sight into the warehouse and be able to start picking off militia one by one. It does look like that's happening right now as U.S. charges up this hill and assaults this position. Comms coming out. Uh, U.S. command calling that out that there is an enemy position over here on the west and they're going to assault the hill and uh, engage it. Grenades going out. I kind of want to I want to get a crucible as soon as possible. All right, then let's head straight to 55. Just go. Oh, uh, right, so what are we doing? The other two squads up north are talking about getting to the crucible as fast as possible, and they are just way, way up there. I mean, it's yeah. going to be a while before they get down here. As we look here, U.S. is literally, I think that's a click out of uh, out of position as they are scouting the opposite side of the map. Contact was initiated here on the south. They're going to have to maneuver quite a ways before they can get into the engagement zone. U.S., however, split up pretty uh, pretty well. There's an Overwatch fire team over here on the rocks trying to uh, use that high ground to suppress as their infantry pushes along the lower end of the basin and uh, tries to assault the uh, ridge in front of them. But yeah, good split here. I, I'm, I am very happy to see that there is a covering element in addition to the maneuvering element. Uh, if that covering element was not there, it would be much, much tougher for us to push through this basin. Oh, and we There's hear that mortars. that lovely sound. <laughs> so we're gonna see we're gonna see these mortars. Best Pony's gonna have to stay mobile. Um, 
Running. Mortars outbound. U.S., however, taking the high ground on this ridge. This is a really powerful position for U.S. They can actually take out a lot of militiamen uh, on their south flank here. And they engage. They engage. They have oh, great, great lines of sight down that ridge. They're going to be able to mop up that uh, that infantry. However, mortars landing on the, uh, on, the on the rear end of the U.S. Uh, position. Yeah, we're <laughs> uh, the U.S. are up there, but they haven't capitalized. They've, they've only taken out one guy so far. Yep. However, so long as they hold that position, yep, that saw gonna get good eyes on. There's He's chopping oh, there's them up more. right now with that saw in that go. position. Great, great location. Mortar's still landing on the south side of the, uh, or excuse me, the right side of this engagement zone. Oh, and we can probably. He was making some an good, adjustment. good, good. Yeah, some good, good, good decisions here by U.S. Uh, they're they're dealing with the problem. Uh, they saw the contact in front of them. They decided to push through it, doing that successfully, not rushing too fast, making sure it's nice and controlled. However, those mortars adding a lot of pressure to the U.S. right now, and there's going to be a lot, a lot of uh, decisions that are going to be going to need to be made here uh, rather quickly as these mortars start uh, get, getting closer and closer. Oh. And they're getting walked. You can see those mortars landing closer and closer on the rear. And uh, if they walk in any closer, they're going to be able to cause a lot of damage. A lot of the U.S. right now is bunched into this uh, little little tree line over here. Yes, they are. They've got a great position on those these militia forces that are just underneath them here. But A lot of fire coming out. Gunshots everywhere. Pony actually doing a pretty good job of uh, of this of handling the situation. I, I think he's I think he's uh, thinking that he's a little bit overwhelmed right now, but he's actually performing really really well in this situation right here. Oh, oh that rocket really close. Close one, real close one. U.S. soldier down there does take a hit, but I think that is a medic. He should be able to manage himself. A lot of fire coming down from the uh, the warehouse itself. Oh, it's getting traded. That back is a uh, yeah, it's getting traded back and forth. You can see those traitors skipping around everyone right now. Yeah, well, comms are getting kind of frantic on the U.S. here. They're really, they're really saying, "Get your butts down here right now." I think they've decided that it, in fact, yes, is at warehouse. Yeah, this position, like I said before, extremely powerful. Locking down this entire militia squad are just two U.S. soldiers. And this position is just really key right now. Uh, so long as they hold this and they keep picking off those militiamen, they can keep this entire squad occupied with a single, single, uh, or just a couple infantrymen. The U.S. are pushing forward, though. They're pushing forward, and they're... And they're Causing oh, this this Sogner is going insane. I think that was three kills right there on that bush. However, he does get capped. There are two militiamen left on this flank right here. And that is pretty much going to weaken that entire flank and give that to the U.S. So long as U.S. continues pushing, uh, this entire high ground pretty much belongs to the U.S. Yeah, and they're coming. The, the rest of the militia are falling back now. Yeah, they're going to be pulling off this hill as they know that they're the only two alive up on this hill now. Mortar's coming out again. We're going to see if these are now zeroed. Yeah, you let's see how they adjusted them. Following this. The and then, uh, I would imagine they're go. significantly closer at this point. Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh! oh is that them. command? That was command! Oh, oh wow. that's command! That's U.S. command. Right U.S. command is now down oh. and over the count after that accurate mortar strike. That was well, on the money. Mortar. Taking out a yeah, taking out a key uh, U.S. player. And now U.S. Uh, squad leaders are going to have to piece together what they're going to do and figure out uh, who's going to be calling the shots. They they know, too. They called it out as soon as he went down. They saw him die, so they're working together already. They're already coming up with a plan. Yep. LaRue about seems to be taking charge here. So uh, a common thing to do in squad ops, because it is a one-life event, is to set up uh, multiple, uh, or not multiple, but a chain of command in case uh, your command, your platoon commander goes down. So it does look like LaRue is stepping up and he's going to take charge. Looks like he's making the correct call of pulling off this hill right now as it's getting mortared. He does not want to walk into those mortars, so he's pulling the, the majority of his troops back. It's a good call, as you can see those mortars now landing on that previous position. And uh, LaRue doing a great job to conserve uh, his troops right now. Pulling it back. He's waiting for the rest of his force to drive. But they're getting flanked. There's a four-man fire team just to their north. And they got the high ground now. Yeah, contact from the rear. They engage. And that is an ambush in the basin. This could be devastating for U.S. if they can't handle this. Oh, man. That one's down. They've US... already lost somebody. Yep. U.S. caught in the open here. 
And they're they're in a kill box now, as Larue says. Mortars and trapped by U.S. infantry against the south, the southern end of the wall, of the map. And these mortars are just. You can feel that pressure, man. They're, they're getting yeah. boxed in. Mortars on one side, infantry up on the hill on the other. And there is nothing more terrifying than the whistle of incoming mortars. West. Yeah, they're <laughs> not quite locked in. <laughs> That's two guys down. Hammer and shots west, watch out. Let's just try to reposition. We they did lose we're gonna one take guy. A, yeah, they did. We're going to take a look at the casualties here right now, and it looks pretty even. Ten down for the U.S. and about nine uh, down for the uh, militia. So it's kind of even at this point, even though U.S. did walk into this with a two-to-one uh, disadvantage. Uh, but the, the good news is that the majority of U.S. troops are now coming down. The reinforcements are pushing their way slowly, securing that ground as they move. And uh, they'll be here eventually. Not soon, but eventually. And uh, all LaRue has to do right now is maintain his uh, remaining forces and ensure that he does not get wiped in this kill box. This is literally a kill box here. Just the lowest part of this area. He's got high ground all around him. And mortars literally playing battleship with his troops. Yeah, he's pretty lucky. This the remaining three men from the militia side have fallen back, and they don't seem, they don't appear interested in pushing right now. More They're mortars. Trying to reposition and expect uh -oh. them to fall back. Oh, those are getting closer. They're getting closer. Larue making the call. We're gonna take that hill. But as they run up that hill, they're gonna start taking fire from uh, from the warehouse. This is this is not oh, looking good man, for Larue. They're stuck. <laughs> they are so stuck right now. <laughs> This is fabulous. This is a fabulous second round, I gotta say. Oh, Ooh, I think that oh, soldier wow. took a hit. He survived. I think, survived. I think that damage fall off from the range saved his life right there. But we U.S. See this, is, uh, I mean, one, that's five, no good spot, especially steps. because if minute. they can see them, okay. right, those mortars are gonna be dialed to the mill. Oh yeah. Those before are they had the uh, yeah, before they had the advantage of being like in the low ground on this plateau where they couldn't be observed, um, but now. They're in plain view. That mortar is going to get dialed in right, right on top what if, of that. Uh, what if that dude, mortar just hits? Mortar There's five dead right there. Boom. Yeah. Oh, they're nope, moving. They're moving. They're moving. They're moving. <laughs> oh, mortars, the mortars are short. A little short. Oh, they are just taking tracer oh, fire. Oh, they're, they're getting lit up. Oh, someone takes a, takes a hit. That damage fall off, though, on those AKs. And I think they're going to get out of here alive. Oh, but, but the three militiamen. A... The three yep, militia are just. Three militia men. Or, I'm sorry, just. They are waiting. Oh, and they oh, got pushed right into an ambush. Oh, that another was one genius. Down. That was genius. Mortars and LMG fire from the warehouse pushes the remaining U.S. forces into an ambush set on the uh, eastern flank, and that was That's a down devastating. Too. That was guys devastating. Are on that was so, so clean. Okay. That was so clean. I guess I'm going to do the same. I don't know where I could attack that from. They're getting, I, I mean, they're, they're just getting picked apart. They're losing each other. They're getting spread out now. The U.S., they can't even stay together. Yeah, and Creeping, who's the uh, commander for the opposite team, is really just, oh, he's chewing up this uh, force over here. Yeah, Creeping if thinks ahead. He likes to think like the... Yep. Let's think like the enemy. If U.S. can clean up uh, these troops over here, it'll take a lot of pressure off of them, but the damage has been done. U.S. forces on this flank now reduced to two. They do have a couple stragglers that have got... I mean, they're just... They're stuck. They move, they're going to yep. get shot. And mortars are walking in on them. It's two to one here now on this eastern flank. Oh, he's not checking his left, oh. but, but that's all just pushing off to the north as well. He's taking off. That last malicious unit. Oh, he's hiding. Oh, he oh. gets him. It's just one on one over here on this quiet eastern flank now. Frag goes out from the uh, U.S. soldier. I don't think that went far, far enough. Nope, did not. And it's going to be hide and seek in these trees now. The U.S. are starting to come in from the north finally. They're about 400 meters out from the warehouse. Let's see oh. if these guys are going to finish each other off quick. Oh. He's, he's, oh, he's, he's going to see him. He, he's got to see him. He's got to see him. 
He's got him. He's oh, got one him. jab to the dome, and he goes down. U.S. has now secured this eastern flank, but with massive casualties. A single Three U.S. soldier remain. on this far eastern flank, and I think there's a, uh, there's two right here trying to catch Alpha, up. Alpha, Bravo, but push this, to uh, me. this uh, two squad on the south rear keeps security. Is uh, pushed to me. Pretty demolished. We're gonna yeah, fly over orders. to the reserves. The reserves have arrived. They're no, pushing in from the right northern go, flank go now. Go and we'll yeah, see if we are, Militia is expecting this, because I think Militia has no idea, not a clue, that there are two full U.S. squads on the west. I'm pretty sure all their attention is still focused on that eastern flank. But uh, we'll see. Oh, around. oh crap. The Lodgy. The Lodgy's coming back. Squad 1's going to hear the Lodgy. Right, go oh, no. We'll see if they decide to engage the Lodgy or not. Where's this Lodgy? Here it is. Lodgy bringing supplies the to the warehouse. I don't think they're going to engage it. Nope. Don't engage it. Don't engage it. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. All right. We're taking a look over here. Oh, there's the mortar men on the sandbags. And, uh, yeah. Everyone in militia is oriented to the southeast. So, U.S., can really exploit this. They can bring this back. I believe they can bring this back. The okay, the Lodgy just dropped his supplies. He might be running back now. And he if is, they let him back. Go... Oh, they got guys on the road. They gotta let him go. Are they up on the road waiting for him? Yeah, they've got a yeah, whole they're, squad they're right up on next the road to him. Waiting. They 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 should not engage this. I don't think oh, they no. should engage this. No, he's gonna go up the hill. So oh, no, what's I don't he doing? think what's they're he doing? gonna what's hit he him. And they're just gonna sit in the grass. Yep. And there's another as that Lodgy rolls right by. All right. If they move, they're just watching that lodgy. There's, there's even a militia off. unit. There's some. Oh, the mortar. The mortar's gonna be the first guy to die. Oh, are they moving to to cut off the lodgy? They're well. They're gonna. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this call. I think they should keep the element of surprise. I they agree with that. They should not engage. They... <clears throat> oh. Well, they're gonna engage. We'll see how uh, how many rounds through that door it's gonna take. This might be a little anticlimactic. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it. that driver could do is get out right now. They're hitting him with the saw. They keep hitting him. No, that was. I don't think that was the right call. No, that it was not. They the didn't right have call. a ladder. It, it, I don't see any GLs shooting at it either. So that was the wrong call. They've exposed themselves. This other was... squad's moving in though. They're getting on the hill, trying to get some sort of vantage point here. But oh. and yeah, you can see militia beginning to react to that. They got a full squad now looking over here onto the west, and that was that was mm -mm. that might have that might have just that really <clears> hurt us. Ended it, yeah. That was not worth it. All right, the U.S. just lobbed a grenade. They were about 15 feet low. Let's see if they adjust. If they get one in that warehouse window, they could take one or two out. Oh, about 10 feet high. All right, next one ought to be perfect. Let's see if he can sink it. Kobe one right in there. Outgoing. Oh, Hello. just a hair low. Oh, mortar guys yeah. taking shots, and he goes down. And uh, U.S. has got to crack this open, being exposed. Yep, the shots hit. The mortar is disabled. Alas, there is like nobody left on the other side of the warehouse. So I'll, I'll think, or if they're alive, they're not moving. Holy cow, there was a battle over here. Yeah, rounds going out from the windows, but US has got superior positioning and numbers to keep those windows suppressed. I see a lot of tracer yeah, fire going out. We'll see if uh, casualties start getting inflicted. That's a lot of, that's a lot of rounds. <laughs> so they are lighting really those close. windows up. Casualties are pretty close right now, as a matter of fact. Oh, and they're just coming in, too. I'm, they are coming in the windows. I think U.S. is taking more casualties or, uh, than they're dealing. Ah, oh, they are, actually. You're right. Movement. Command comms going silent. You need to start seeing some movement here. Another grenade launched to fight in the window. Oh, got really quiet in the warehouse now. Yep, Militia just says, hey, we're going to back off off the windows. You guys can have those windows. 
I see a squad leader just bandaged. Yep. He's off, off this These guys are, I mean, they are get suppressed. Movement's starting to come now as uh, smokes get popped. Over here, over here. We're fine here. Trying to see, uh, yep, there's a remaining uh, US squad taking the high ground on the right. I'm sorry. And this squad on the right is uh, just taking the high ground. They're a little bit out of uh, out of the ways here. I don't think there's too many good lines of sight into the compound from here. But uh, yeah, they got to start uh, breaching here soon. They're pushing in. They've got a little fire team coming in near the bottom with suppressing. Or with suppression, they've got guys helping out. These guys are getting close. They're 50 meters away guys, and gaining. Hold these doors. But yeah. They're at the mortar position now. They are making good ground, but militia is just saying, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna stop trying to engage them before they breach, and we're just gonna set up at the doorways." You can see multiple militiamen now stacked on the inside of the compounds, uh, and they're gonna just wait for that fatal frontal. Uh, as they breach. Oh yeah, and again, for anybody that's just joining us, head over to stackup.org. Support the troops. It's a great thing. Happy Veterans Day, and and thank them. Thank everybody. Jump, Thank all the service jump. members, current and former. There's one militiaman in the uh, in the logs over here on the left. He might be able to catch a couple people that aren't looking. He makes his position known. U.S. squad leader flanks his right. This is good movement. Good movement. Good movement. He's got to take out this pillbox. He's gonna breach him any second here. They're doing oh, a great and he gets spotted as he comes out. This one pillbox, this one saw gunner in this pillbox doing a lot of damage on the US's uh, left flank here. Someone's gonna try to push the pillbox right here. Check the pillbox! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Pillbox! Oh my god, this MG gunner is just tearing it up! <laughs> Devastating. Oh, the US is pushing the door. They're gonna start pushing the door. Oh, US actually taking over the militia mortars! Oh, neat. Using everything they can. But yeah, US is uh, starting to breach here now. And it's oh, just there a you firing go. line on the inside. Oh, that US saw just got shot. Actually, by a pistol or something. I think someone's out of ammo. He's got his pistol out because he's out of ammo. Surgeon's got their nades. The, the medic's, he's ready. The medic's ready. He's got his bandage out. He's healing. He's in the healing mode. Copy. Take charge of Alpha. Start finding a new charge of Alpha. Start finding, finding a charge of Alpha. Just walk around and find a new charge of Alpha. The U.S. just firing those mortars right back at the militia. It's not really doing any damage, but the, the morale effect I've got would be really... them on our north. Well, one thing that it is doing is it's, uh... Oh my god, that's really close. Oh, they're moving in. The U.S. trying to breach. Oh, oh gets U.S. Hit. gets an opening. Oh, he gets torn up. I think there's someone on the left. Where is he? Oh, behind him. Oh, no, there's a guy in the bunker again. Soccer. <laughs> that Sogner in that bunker has so many kills. Who is that? I need to know big, who this man is. Big Yes. It's Big Yes is his name. Big so, Yes with seven kills. Oh, man. In the pill box. Oh, man. The U.S. Got are getting one. poked oh, off. He's coming out, though. He might get taken out here. No, he gets him. He gets another big one. Big Yes MVP for Militia right now with eight kills. My God, he's a savage. I think the remaining three U.S. troops here try to breach the compound yeah, on the south, one, but two, it does not look good. Three. Yeah, they are in trouble. Yeah, that's it. They're it. Dig, and, dig you know what? Comes Nate, out. Where'd that go? This, that landed this inside. U.S. team endured hell this wire. round. They really did. They have just been getting mortared, bombarded. You know, it was the it was the two squads at first, but now it's these last two squads that are just taking him, trying to poke their way in. Down, then there were two. One is actually a squad leader, Evan SMA and Schnapps. You got Schnapps and Evan SMA here. Let's see how they do. Schnapps has been hit. He's not a medic. 
Locking down this corner best they can. They're above us. Dig down this barbed wire. Dig down this barbed wire. Uh oh, he's got to check him. If he hears that shovel and he decides to push out. However, I think this is an MG on the other side here. It is. It is. In fact. <laughs> MG just waiting. Oh, it does not That's look good. Be a rude does not look good. The guy that peeks that, yeah. Watch the All right, we gotta go in. Oh! Oh! Oh no! They're getting flanked. Oh, and, and that's, it. that's it! I that's think that's game. it. Is that it? That's it. That's game. Oh my God! So, uh, militia pulling out wins on both sides as we saw after we swapped commands. So uh, that was definitely some was awesome, awesome, awesome rounds. Uh, awesome, Great awesome job. rounds tonight. Great, Great job rounds. all around. How many were left? Yeah. Once again, my name is, uh, for anyone who's joining us at the tail end of the stream, my name is Karmika. I'm the leader and director over here at Squad Ops. I'm joined by Muff, one of our senior admins, as well as uh, Penn, who's on our content creation team, who puts together these uh, multi-cam streams. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to talk a little bit first. Uh, so if you'd like to join Squad Ops or, you know, participate in these events or watch more of these events, check out squadops.gg or twitch.tv slash squadops. Uh, and then... Uh, if you're looking to uh, play squad or anything like that, go ahead and check out any of the other uh, squad partners, NAS, CCFN, all of them put on great, great content. Um, but yeah, I think it was it was really awesome. I want to thank OWI and uh, Stack Up for putting on this awesome Veterans Day charity event. Uh, you know, squad reaching its goal, its funding goal, or not funding goal, excuse me, the, uh, the charity goal for this, uh, for this day. But yeah, if you'd like to give more, uh, check out the donation link in the chat uh for a stack up it's a veterans charity uh and just like to say thank you for everyone supporting and uh we really do appreciate it um at, here at squad ops but oh yeah. yeah thank you guys so much thank everyone for being here it's a good thing that that we're doing with stack up and owi it's awesome so that any, anyone being here just watching you're helping out you're doing something and and it matters so thank you Uh, can we get maybe some interviews? Let's see if we can uh, pull. Yeah, we, pull, we tend uh, to do interviews things. sometimes. Yeah, we tend to try to get some interviews with some of the, the leaders. Hold on. All right, let's grab them. We'll get Pony and Creeping in here. They were the commanders. All right. Let's see. If we All can right. So, uh, yeah, let's see. We got, we got, All best right, we got them both. We got them both. Creeping and here. Best Pony. So, yeah. Uh, these are both commanders from uh, tonight's op. Once again, we do two rounds every event, so uh, both teams get to play both sides. Uh, but yeah, so Creeping, Pony, this is uh, the first time we've ever run this operation. I think it was great on the new map, Mestia. Uh, what were you guys' impressions from this uh, from this operation and this new map? <laughs> just just a little bit malicious-sided. <laughs> <laughs> I think that may be an understatement. Uh, just just might be a, a small understatement. There's it's not not at all a complete stomp. But you know, there's there's some ops like that, and they're they're a lot of fun because everyone gets to stomp since you get to play both sides. Yeah, you're you're correct though. A lot of many ops are definitely not even. They are tilt. They are a little bit one sided. But you know, maybe just a little bit sometimes, and and a lot of times it's even though you know the same yeah. side wins. But yeah, you know, like for for every operation grinder or like this one, there's there's a bunch of operations that are more even. And I do like the more one sided ones because it, it really gives you a chance to like if you win when you're on the side that's supposed to lose, then it's like wow, we we really, you know, pulled off something ridiculous. Yeah, Penn, let's go through and, and show off uh, the operation trailers for like Silent Vigil and uh, Foxheart and Grinder and all those. And and just to touch on uh, just to touch on the uh, one sidedness uh, with that and making things kind of I guess unbalanced, we can get away with a lot of cool immersive uh, experiences here at Squad Ops, like massive bid bridge crossings or like huge uh, ambushes and cool stuff like that. Patrols. Where the, where the actual results do seem one-sided, but you get to play both sides. So you do get to experience, you know, both sides of the conflict and kind of get to really immerse yourself in really, I guess, how, how would you say, like, uncommon scenarios in squad? Uh, and, so, and yeah, I mean... I, I think that's absolutely true. Um, like, one of our, one of my favorite operations that we run, Foxheart, is really just about crossing the bridge to get to Palace. And everybody knows, like, if you're the first, if you're the first uh, squad that's supposed to cross you're, that you're bridge, like, yeah, no, you're you're dead men walking. And, but it 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 does make it fun because, like, not only are like we said, we play two rounds, so one of the time you're gonna be like 
one of the rounds, you're going to be the team that's doing the stomping, and that feels great. Um, and it, it produces such like a uh, it, there, there is such an adrenaline rush to like running through smoke and trying to running through like a hail of bullets that you can hear whizzing and pinging by. Um, and yeah, you know, you're probably going to die, but that happens in almost every op. So yeah, at least to me, it does. I die in almost every op. So. And then the one time out of a hundred, you actually make it across the bridge. The other side, you're like the sole survivor of the 18 people who just tried to, to cross this tiny little 10 foot bridge and got mowed down. It's it's an experience like no other. Yeah, definitely, oh, definitely things you remember. <laughs> I think how how intense was it during the second round, Best Pony, when you guys were up on that hillside? Oh, uh, that was you realized that, was that they we getting, you realized we that they were down at warehouse there. You know, they were down there at warehouse. You expected yeah. them to be on Crucible because they had some guys up there. Uh, when you realized that and that you were just taking a ton of fire, uh, how how intense was that? Were, were guys running around? Were guys worried? You know, was, what was the feel like at that moment? Well. We, we knew from the moment that they started shooting us from the Crucible and we had to cover up there on the rocks that we were probably not going to be in the best situation, but I still held out hope that they would decide to go to Quarry or decide to reinforce Crucible instead of heading to Warehouse. Uh, when it became apparent that they were at Warehouse, well, you know, we just we just kind of, we were resigned to our fate. Everyone just kind of stayed calm and tried to, to make the best of it. Squad 4 ended up coming out of it, wiping almost two full squads. So, yeah, we, we dug in and we fought to the end. That was definitely awesome to watch in round two when you guys got stuck in that basin. That was that was nerve wracking watching those mortars come in and then that flanking team uh, by creeping on that eastern hill really putting you in a tough spot. Uh, I thought that was excellently played by both of you putting on really good shows working with what you had and uh, you know really coming out on top there creeping with a with a solid win. Round two definitely. Round one felt a little yeah. less. <laughs> yeah. it, it was and they were they they felt like completely different uh, completely different operations almost. Oh yeah, the yeah. yeah. The I, uh, I have to say, Pony, I was not expecting you to uh, use the first the first round to reinforce Crucible Hill. Um, I had my team split up, ready to react to either of the secondary fob locations, but I wasn't really ready to do anything on. Uh, I, I had no plans of how I was going to try and assault the hill, but I guess it didn't matter anyways because somebody one tapped me with a dishka from like 500 meters. Yes, they oh, did. Man. That was uh, oh, that was that was one of the most bizarre contact reports I, I heard. You know, any up I've ever played in the. Oh, yep. All right, we got a dishka up. All right, lighten them up. Like ten <laughs> seconds after live, I was like, what, "You what? It's, yeah, you it's can, been a few uh, minutes." <laughs> you can see us coming out of their main almost instantly from that hill. Yeah. Yeah, I, I started getting the reports of your movements like pretty much right after live. And then mm -hmm. uh, credit though to Satan, I, I took his plan and I modified, you know, a couple things here and there. But by and large, that was uh, he was going to command, but but uh, ended up having something come up. So I took his place and uh, yeah, he, he had a great plan. I changed a little bit. And then at the end there, I even went up there myself with my medic to, to finish off what was left of your advance. That hill is, is murderous. It's a lot of fun to fight on there. Yep. But that's, uh, yeah, definitely talking about, like, round one when you got knocked out early. Like, that's something that, you know, can only happen in squad ops or on, on squad, uh, where you have that breakdown in that command structure. You have that breakdown in communication and planning, and you can really see things start to devolve. Oh, yeah. It, it was so frustrating. Um, I don't know if you guys made note of it or anything on the stream, but I got knocked out. And because I can't tell my team that I got knocked out, I just have to sit and wait and listen to the comms. Oh, it's it was, torture. It was it's like torture. 10 minutes before they realized I was gone. And that shows torture, how much yeah. every every single person matters. Every soldier, every yeah, unit there matters. And yeah, they, they just start asking like they it was it, it's funny because I feel it's almost a referendum on my my leading because they, you know, am, am I I don't think I'm normally that quiet. Like, shouldn't they have noticed that I was not talking for an extended period sooner than that? Yeah, that's He's right. Or they get caught up in the moment and yeah, you know, honestly, get to communicate. Yeah, sometimes you just get caught in the swing of things. Like, I remember one time, Operation Nightmare, we, we didn't notice Alexo, who was commanded, died for, I think, 10 minutes afterwards because we were in the middle of the assault and we didn't, we weren't bothering to communicate because we were all doing our jobs. It was going really well. And, you know, sometimes just you get so into the swing of things you don't notice. Fortunately, though, Creeping, you made sure that my team didn't have that problem second round. Uh, you, you dropped a 81 millimeter projectile on my face. So they were pretty <laughs> clear that I was, I was. Oh, I got the same thing, killed by my own mortar. Oh, I'm killed in that mortar barrage at the end. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that, that was, was great when yeah. the US took over your mortar. I think we're going to wrap this up here and send it back to the devs, but I...
But yeah, so right, well, uh, once again, we're going to go through and talk about everyone that's here. Once again, big thank you to uh, OWI and uh, Stack Up for hosting this event. Uh, once again, make sure you hit that donate button for Stack Up. Give back to uh, the veterans on Veterans Day. Uh, definitely appreciate those just watching and uh, sending your support over. Um, but yeah, so I'm Karma Cut here at Squad Ops. I'm the uh, director and the uh, leader, joined by Muff, our senior admin. Creeping, uh, another one of our admins. He also puts together our ops cast. Uh, Pony, one of our modders. Uh, and then uh, Penn, who's the main guy who makes a lot of this streaming action happen with the multiple cameras and everything like that. And make sure that you check out squadops.gg if you want to learn more about the community. We do the events, we do uh, vanilla play. Head over to squadops.gg and check out twitch.tv slash squadops to catch uh, more of these kind of events. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone. Uh, we're going to send it back to the devs. Uh, yeah. It was a great Give time. Coming up. I loved stick it. Around yeah, get away, get coming away. Up. Stick around there. Stick around. Stick around. We're sending it right back to devs. Yep. Yeah, make sure to refresh, everybody. And thanks again.